one of Toronto's most beloved and beautiful traditions, the cherry blossom bloom in High Park. Now, the buds may be shrouded in darkness right now, but in daylight, they are a sight to be seen. And scientists now say that climate change may be changing when you can see them each spring. They're very pretty, and but it's very crowded. Toronto's High Park, pretty and pink, only for a short time each spring. How do you think the bloom will be this year? Oh, honey, it's going to be the best possible bloom ever. Really? It almost never fails. Almost, but sometimes it does. Last year, a hot and cold spring meant no major bloom at all. Now, scientists are warning of another weather-related twist for the trees. In Japan, scientists recently studied bloom times dating back to the early 1800s. What they found was alarming. Flowering times have jumped forward 11 days on average. The believed cause, climate change. Warmer marches triggering the buds to burst early. So our partners at the High Park Nature Center are suggesting that we'll see a bloom sometime in early May, around May 3rd to 6th. Uh, that's directly correlated to the temperatures in March. Toronto's own data too small to note if a similar trend is taking place on this continent, despite the trees being here since the 1950s. We've been in flowers since last week, which is really early because that's like first week of April. Green Thumbs say they wouldn't be surprised if there's a trend in Toronto as well. I think spring is de definitely starting earlier. We've got like Iris, Iris reticulatas that have been full bloom for weeks now. Uh, we had galanthus, which are snowdrops. They were in flower for a good two weeks. Predicting Mother Nature, no walk in the park. A task that may only prove more of a challenge as things heat up worldwide. You can just see it in our trees at home, just a regular, any type. The mangolias didn't bloom last year, so it's a bit of the same thing. Another thing affecting Toronto's cherry blossom bloom performance and their age. The trees are considered to be quite old. And the city is currently working on replacing the entire 250 tree crop. Amanda Ferguson, City News.